So, that, so today I've been wet sanding my truck. Um, I've been doing a couple spots right here, uh, just sanding over everything just to, it's super, super rough. So uh, I went ahead and took soap pads and <clears throat> very, very fine goat sandpapers just to brush over it real quick. And I mean, I'm sure 10 years from now this will look good. Um, but I'm getting ready to do the back and the previous owner used body filler, left it to bare metal and let that rust. Had some primer here, left that and used a very, 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 like, not like a low grit. And it just drew lines in this thing. And it just, I don't know if they were going for a patina look, but it looks like crap. So I already started on the other side where I, uh, this was all like this. It was all the way across. And this looked like more like that, like that stuff. Um, and it's really smooth now. Like it's super rough here, super smooth here. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, start sanding this side. So I'm going to try to bring back some of that patina. You can see the original paint colors right under this because the previous owner spray painted this entire damn truck, which really pissed me off. I mean, you could totally see the layers right there all over it. And, um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and start sanding this a little, this top part a little bit. Uh, I just kind of want to get the one, one color or at least it's smooth. Cause I mean, it's not smooth at all. I mean, you could feel the bumps big time. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. So, I mean, that looks a little bit better. Uh, it's all smooth now. See back here, it's super, super rough. It's not rough at all. It's pretty much glass smooth. It doesn't really look like it, though. But it's really smooth now. So, what I want to do um, is so I'm down to this to where I got some primers, some original paint, some more primers, more primers, rust, uh, bare metal spots all over. Uh, I'm just going to spray the whole top. The Wimbledon again and then I'm gonna sand and bring some of the old stuff back so I went ahead and taped all this off already uh, it was right to where the old uh, original owner uh, sanded it and what he painted it uh, I just kind of put the tape that line it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be sanding down the layers to even them out um, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I'm going to grab my spray paint and I'm just going to lightly paint this top piece, not the whole thing, just this little bit here that's taped off. Um, and then from there I'll be able to go sanding and bringing back some of, uh, some of the little Bondo spots maybe, the rough spots, the white, the original white on the um, But I'll basically just sand it all down and it'll look original almost. But I won't actually do anything because it was obviously it was messed up at some point, so I'm going to kind of fix it and make it look, make it look better. Wow, look at that. It looks new. <laughs> it's kind of funny. The only thing I do hate about this Duper color color match. This is a Wimbledon. This is somewhere around here. Um, is that it always leaves little speckles and dots. You can see them. That's really annoying. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it has something to do with the nozzle, 
but every once in a while I'll be painting it and it just doesn't want to work. You can see all the ripples from the terrible Bondo job that the previous owner did. Um, it, well, it probably wasn't terrible, it was just unfinished, I guess you could say. So they started it and then just literally left it in the field. So I don't know what their plan was, but well, I started, uh, I kept sanding, I sanded a little spot on the hood just because that wasn't really matching very well, so I sanded that up. I smoothed this part out, smoothed that part out. Uh, I think the rest of it, though, I'm probably just going to leave. Um, just take the soap pad and kind of just smooth it out just so it's not quite as rough. I mean, that already feels a lot better just from taking the soap pad on it. Because uh, eventually, yeah, I'm just going to clear cut this thing. I'm not going to paint it. So, so I'm going to let this dry. And then... Yeah, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to go ahead and come back with some sandpaper. I'm actually going to probably come back with one more coat. Yeah, it looks new. I'm so, like, blown away, because, like, you kind of ignore that, like, back and front section. It's just, like, I put my hand over that. It looks like a new truck, honestly, which is really, really weird. I've never had anything new on this truck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, I changed the door. The door was smashed. You saw that video. looks pretty good honestly like if I was going for the clean look I think that looks pretty badass I wouldn't mind a spray paint look then I come back with some like 2000 grit sandpaper and a buffing wheel and just buff the whole thing and make it smooth but yeah I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll probably move up towards here but I still got these couple spots and I'll put some in a bondo spot but honestly it doesn't look that bad I don't think it looks too bad So you can see that uh, it was a fine line before, and then just simply sanding it for the 30 seconds I was sanding it for, you can see it kind of like speckles into it, so it fades a little bit better. Um, obviously, it's not gonna look like that. Um, but I'm gonna do layers. This is super smooth, by the way. Before it was like super, super thick, like really gritty rust. Um, so doing that in certain spots, thinning out certain spots here and there, uh, I think it'll definitely look really good because it'll look new up top. Although the only thing I don't like is this is like almost tan. I mean, don't look at it now because it's, compare these two colors, this is definitely tanner. So I gotta figure out what's going on there. I gotta color match these properly. So I'll just keep sanding and then come back. Probably were originally thinking, what the hell am I doing? That came down, and now it's starting to fade down a lot better. Uh, this was a horizontal motion, as you probably saw in the time lapse, and this is a more vertical. <clears throat> so I think uh, you can see the slow lines. I'm thinking I like the vertical a lot better. Uh, that's going to give me a lot better, I think, like natural look versus the horizontal. Just kind of like looks like a continuous line versus this is kind of more natural. Uh, I went ahead and sanded this, so that added a little bit of character right there. Um, I'm going to do the same on this side as I am right here, all the way down. Um, as you can see, I started, I sanded just this one spot a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think right now I'm just simply going to get this main body line done. I want that completely done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that without the time lapse. I'm just going to do it real quick, knock it out, show you guys. And then I'm probably going to come back tomorrow. Uh, I'll start the video tomorrow. I gotta head to work in a little bit, sadly. So tomorrow, once the video starts again, I'll go ahead and I'll be sanding the top part. And that whole beginning of the day, that the rest of the video will pretty much be just me uh, getting this to blend in. So it, I'll show you how to make this blend to this and it'll all look pretty pretty damn close so I think it'll be good 